Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today for our special, The Joy of Christmas. Join us on our musical adventure as we celebrate Christmas in the picturesque cities and towns of Austria and Germany with scenes from the Christmas markets and music from great cathedrals and churches. Our journey is made along the Danube on the MS Amadeus Riverboat. Our Joy of Christmas special begins in Vienna, the home of Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, Schubert, Brahms, and other great composers. The city literally breathes music. In the center of Vienna stands the majestic Stephens Dome or Cathedral. This impressive Gothic church with its 450 foot spire and numerous art treasures houses a magnificent Rieger organ. We were fortunate to play the music of Christmas on this great instrument.
In our Joy of Christmas special, we visit the Christmas markets in the cities and towns of Austria and Germany. In the middle of every Christmas market, there is a nativity scene where both adults and children can learn the true meaning of Christmas. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Our musical journey on the Danube takes us on to Linz, Austria. It's a great pleasure to be here in Linz, Austria at the Altadome 
or St. Ignatius Church, where Anton Bruckner was organist from 1855 to 1868. Anton Bruckner loved the organ here, and when he left to go to Vienna to teach in the conservatory, he signed the back of the organ, Leib Vol, or full life, or in other words, goodbye to this beautiful organ. The organ was built in the 1700s for a monastery and was moved here in the late 1700s. The organ here in the Altodome is known as the Bruckner organ, and it has several interesting features. It has what we call a short octave in both the keyboards and the pedal, which means that the octave or scale as we know it is different. Take, for instance, in the pedal, the C is C, the F sharp is D, the E is G sharp, and the F is back down and then up the scale. So again, C, D, E. The organs that were built in the 1700s were not electrified, and the organ here in the Altodome in Linz was built in the 1700s and moved here in the late 1700s. The organ is now electrified, but back when it was built and also in Bruckner's day, someone had to come and pump air into the bellows for the organist to play. It can be played today either electrified or with manpower. We had just the perfect person to put the air into the organ for us today.
Our musical journey on the Danube takes us on to Passau. Passau, a frontier town between Bavaria and Austria, is found in the junction of three rivers, the Inn, the Danube, and the Ilse. As in most German towns and cities at Christmas time, the Christmas market is alive with locals and tourists surveying Christmas gifts and goodies. Most impressive here is the Gothic Cathedral, dating from the 15th century. It houses one of the world's largest organs, which we have played in the past. But alas, at this Christmas time, is not playable because of repairs. Maybe next Christmas. In our journey along the Danube, we arrive on our riverboat, the MS Amadeus, in the lovely old city of Regensburg, once the capital of Bavaria. Known today as the gateway to the Bavarian forest, the town center houses the beautiful German Gothic cathedral, built between the 13th and 15th centuries. With its giant spires, 14th century stained glass windows, and medieval sculptures, the great organ of the church brings us the joy of Christmas as it has over hundreds of years. Although it's a little cool here on the deck of the MS Amadeus in the wintertime, still one of the joys of our Christmas cruise on the Danube is relaxing and enjoying the company of friends. From the beautiful views of the MS Amadeus in all directions, to conversations over elegant and charming lunches and dinners, the joy of Christmas surrounds us everywhere.
It is such a delight to visit the unique European Christmas markets. Christmas markets have been in existence in Austria and southern Germany for some 700 years. It is a chance for local craftsmen to show their wares in the unique atmosphere when many towns and villages lie under a carpet of snow. From Nuremberg, we travel on to Salzburg. One of the most colorful Christmas markets in Europe is in Salzburg. As the snow falls, both adults and children enjoy the shimmering Christmas booths, the homemade delicacies, and the joy of the Christ child season. The dome, or Salzburg Cathedral, towers over the bustling Christmas market in front of the cathedral. This massive early Baroque church was begun in 1614 and consecrated in 1628, with the two great towers being added around 1652. Most impressive in the cathedral's interior is the choir area and great dome with paintings of the Stations of the Cross and other scenes from the life of Christ. The organ, which speaks majestically into the nave, was built by the firm Metzler of Switzerland. Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today in our musical adventure, The Joy of Christmas, with music from picturesque towns and cities of Austria and Germany. Our journey has been made on the MS Amadeus Riverboat. Goodbye and Merry Christmas. If you would like to purchase today's program, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.